Hello and welcome back, Caves of Cud. How are you doing? Give me a second here. Yeah, there we go. That's how you start. Um, we're at a named location. I'm only level five. We got our first mutation. It is a uh, multiple arms. How bad do you think a turret's gonna wipe me out here? Um, not too badly. It's it's pretty it was pre pretty rough, but we're okay. Um, what do you think that are we friends with uh, birds? Something just shot that glow crow or a uh, dragonfly. What hit the dragonfly? Do you think? A turret. Wish I had um charge. I don't have charge. Yeah, I mean this could get me killed, but it didn't. It paid out. We've got ourselves a carnivore. I do, um, I like that animation. Um, it's, I think it's borderline necessary for some, but, uh, I do, I do worry a little bit. Okay, we've got, oh, something shot. Oh, we've got, we've got actual, like, gunshot animations. Level six. Amazing. None of our unstable genomes have popped off yet. It's kind of incredible to me. I'm gonna, I'm zooming in a little bit here um, for dramatic effects, but also uh, because I wanna see these animations. There's some really cool ones now. And um, you know, what's the point if we don't appreciate what we've got? Uh, looks like I don't have any healing. So let's, uh, let's try and make camp. Can't cook with hostiles nearby. Well, we can rest at the very least. I'm assuming there's another turret. I want to see. I want to see those gunshots. Yeah, there is one. Did you see it? Kind of. It's it's very much blinking, and you missed it. But uh, yeah, you have little gunshot animations now. Oh God, that's a bad room. Okay, we we need to not be there. We need to not be here, actually. Um, we're still on the surface, so we could just leave. Uh, so long, uh, we're, I guess we're not close enough away from stuff. Um, hoping, yeah, okay. oh god. Please don't die. Okay, we're okay. Can we leave here? Yeah, we can. Alright, let's, uh, let's call it, oh god. That's not good. That's uh, that's maybe a little bit of bug. It is. This is the beta. There's gonna be a couple things wrong, um, but you know, we're I'm good with it. So you know, that's it's we we accomplished something. We leveled up there. Uh, I don't necessarily want to die after we've leveled up, and um, I just wanted to scope the place out a little bit. Uh, what kind of reputation does Elder Irudad have? Disliked by unshelled reptiles. That's a no for me. I like my unshelled reptile reputation. Hated by baboons. I don't know. I guess we can make friends with um, Warden Ualrig. Mm. Ooh, that was an interesting sound. So the, the water ritual has a sound effect now? That's kind of amazing. Disliked by the Pewtis Templar, hated by the villagers of Nishan. I'd rather not make enemies with random villages, if I'm being honest. Let's uh, see, do you have any Witchwood Park? No, you don't. I kind of think we should make our journey to the Six Day Stilt. Notice some ruins. Sure, I'll stop for some ruins. Discover Ubipad. We can have a look around, Ubipad. You are famished. Okay, let's uh, make camp. I don't want to um, collect anything. I want to uh, cook, a, cook a meal, whip up a meal. We got some books. Not a lot going on here. Not a lot of not a lot of spice, which is nice. You know, sometimes I'm not down for spice. Sometimes I just want a bowl of mayonnaise. You know. Okay. Really? Okay. There's, we, we got some more books. Actually a really nice ruin. Just like wholesome vibes.
Okay, I think that's that's it. All right, let's let's get moving. You're lost. Okay, I mean to be expected. Just uh, make our way, keeping an eye out for legendaries. Keeping an eye out for. I'm gonna try not to do the thing that I do in every single run, which is like, you know, grind in uh, assault dunes. We can avoid these uh, Dawn Gliders. I don't have a gun yet. I really do want a gun. I guess um, this is the problem with making agility like your dump stat is that um, getting a ranged weapon is really going to be difficult. I really like every time I try to do something clever with a build and make something a dump stat, I am repeatedly in, uh, you know, made aware that it just doesn't work. So these guys are actually cool with us. That's because the legendary isn't the Dawn Glider. The legendary is actually the Glow Crow. Um, so we're going to go ahead and talk to the Glow Crow. Ka, if I remember a little of Ka, the reef. Ka, it flourishes on Ka, a storm chair. Storm chair in Ka, the Ka, wind Ka, after that Ka, and the Ka. Um, they might give us some reputation that we want. Oh, hated by a lot of villagers. Mm, I don't know if I can do that. I'm sorry. Do you have anything to trade, though? You got some interesting thing. A minstrel's token. I... I mean, I, I wouldn't mind having that, but I don't... It's, it's literally just trade goods, so I don't think it's that valuable. Okay, we've got... Um, it's a car. And I'm going to be picking up our daggers by hand. Like some kind of... Goon. I can't rest. So I'm just going to be mashing the wait button. It's the only problem with uh, doing battle in the uh, the desert. None of these guys have um, rifles. So we don't have to worry about them taking shots at them. Uh, they're worth 200 XP each. They're very easy to kill. So, you know, this is one of the reasons why I love, I love hanging out in the salt dunes. It's just like easy money, easy money, easy experience. It's an easy time all around. It's very not spicy. They had something cool. Oh, they had, what did they have? We have intelligence. We should be able to check this out. Electrified bronze dagger. We can absolutely give that up. And it has a cell in it. I guess I did. I did hear a little buzz and zap. We got ourselves a chem cell. I'd be willing to give that up. Oh, we almost uh, left behind another dagger. I'd be willing to give that up to, to progress our archive. Oh god, that's not good. Okay, we, we don't want to be here. I am 100% I am manipulating the board here so that I don't take needless damage, and I'm totally cool with that. Okay, we're going to open up our wait menu, wait until morning. Oh, we've got an Isakari. Okay, we can we can handle an Isakari. Hopefully, there's no um, riflers. Okay, a second Isakari immediately after the first one. That's a little spicy. We really don't have anything right now. So I'm just gonna back up for a minute while I recover. Are we bleeding? Okay, we can uh, we can advance. Oh, there they are. We leveled up, and finally, one of our mutations has leveled up. We get we can get precognition. Precognition is actually I've uh, I've kind of double backed on it. I don't know if precognition is all that good. Um, these are all mental mutations, as I understand it. And I'm not a huge fan of any of them. Uh, hmm. We d I did take some ego on the off chance that I was going to tap into uh, mental mutations. I'm trying to think, what what could I? What's the best thing we could do with precognition? I mean, we could do the precognition and like um, drinking neutron flux thing. 
Um, certainly that is like, I think the best reason to take precognition. I think I like it more than these other ones. Burgeoning, I've never played with burgeoning. I, it's a good one, but I, as I understand it, it is also chaotic as hell. So I don't think it's actually all that good. Um, so I think I'd prefer to take precognition. I mean, they all come with downsides. So with the, with the inspiration to name your iron longsword. We'll name it after um, our own culture and we'll make it white to cat. Cool. And we'll acquire whatever this is and we'll rest and we'll wait until morning. Okay, so we've got precognition. It doesn't really gel with our build. Oh god. But this is a part of why, you know, doing unstable genome is fun. Uh, I'm going to hit the bricks. This is this is not what we want at all. So it looks like the tile has been changed again. There was a tile um, before for sprinting and um, it was pretty good. It, it basically looked like the tile down here. Um, so it looked like a man running or a person running. Um, and it looks like it's been upgraded again so that it's it's a double double chevron, which is a bit more of a universal symbol, meaning like going fast. So I, I, I can appreciate the change. Um, looks like we've got a legendary spider that would they would probably take us out and poison is like really nasty um, this early in the game. We only have two AV. We could really use some better armor or any. In fact, we've got a legendary electrofuge of and virtuoso weaver disliked by dromad merchants and admired by the cursed ghost sect. Um, that's a new one by me. I don't think I've ever heard of the ghost sect. Maybe I have and I don't remember, but um, I don't remember. We're no longer lost. We don't have to. I guess I am doing the thing that I said I was not going to do. But um, interesting things are happening, so I kind of want to do them. We've, we found our first legendary um, mechanist. Disliked by dogs, hated by the Pewtis Templar. Well, we're a mutant, so we don't really care about that. So let's go ahead and uh, share a dram. We could learn proselytize from them. That wouldn't be a bad thing to do. But um, we're just going to, you know, take that uh, mechanimous reputation and uh, be cool with it. Um, we have a Isakari Rafler. I'm, I would like to kind of draw them closer to the edge so th or, you know, to something that I can manipulate. Let's see if we can do that. Um, I'm going to start a Vige. Uh, I guess it's only 16 rounds, so never mind. But I'm going to aggro a couple of these lads. We're already starting to show a little bit more strength. I like how they kind of roam around. Oof. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to avoid. Um, I'm going to start a vision now. And I'm going to shield slam. All right, cool. It's really, I just didn't want to be kill. Uh, would you like to return to the start of your vision? No. So we're good. I'm going to recover. Whoa, there's a new animation. One of them teleported. Not sure why, but I love that. Little particle effects for them teleporting is amazing. I wonder if the, um, I wonder if the recoilers have been updated. I've decided I'm not going to mess around with the re, uh, rifler there. They could probably take me out. Let's just, um, we've, we've almost traveled half the desert and oh, we're lost again. Um, shift W wait until morning. I guess it's a control tilde, but, uh, I'll, 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 I might, I might be getting used to this. This isn't bad. 
I don't end up using that too often anyway. Okay. No baddies on this screen. We have baddies on this screen. I'm glad I listened to my intuition and uh, did not hang around. Okay, we're just going to keep heading north. Discover the CAD hexagram. A little bit spicy. Could, uh, you know, like, the problem here is that we could bump into a dawn glider without knowing it. So I'd rather not mess around with that just now. We're still lost, so we're still going to head north. Ooh, we've got a Dromad Caravan. Let's go check them out. And we're no longer lost. I always forget that unexpected boon of meeting someone who can speak your language and isn't, like, aggressive out in the desert. Or anywhere, really. Is like, hey, you can just ask them where you are. So they have a small stone. I kind of want to buy that. Just to find out what it is. Um, it's probably a recoiler. I'm gonna guess. I'm just gonna throw this out there. It's probably a recoiler for a grit gate. I would love to have that. It is a grit gate recoiler. Amazing. And we do have two trinkets. We don't have to give up our, our chem cell. And now we have a fast cut shortcut to grit gate. I don't have to make the arduous journey to grit gate. You better not get lost right away. Okay, we're good. Oh, glorious Shekinah. We are here. wonder, did the, um... Did the quest to come to Six Day Still get downgraded? I feel like it was more than 1500 XP. Actually, before we do this, let's go and get our other Reshe floor. Delete, accept. Gained 100, uh, 750 XP and we leveled up. And uh, Zazapur usually has pretty bad reputation. Disliked by cats. I'm already not on great terms with cats, but I'd rather not be on worse terms with cats. Uh, we can definitely... Well, we have some books we can give up to the library. I could save them and do that whole meta thing where I... Uh, Give them up later, but I don't want to do that. I'd rather maybe gain another level up now. Uh, we didn't, but we're very close to a level up, so that's nice. What kind of reputation do you have? None. Okay, never mind. Um, let's see. Let's check our Pope rep. Disliked by Hermits. Disliked by the Consortium of Fida is a nasty one, but I, I think we're on good enough terms with the Consortium that we can afford to lose a little bit of reputation. We're at negative 60, but that's still good enough to trade with them. We'll give up a bit of um, secrets. And I think we're good. We might even be good enough at this point that we can uh, safely go to... Um, not that it's like at all soon, but like safely go down to uh, Bethesda Sousa. Mechanimus 350, you are welcome in their holy places. Well, that's a box checked very early, so that's quite nice. Um, we've got armor over here. I would certainly like to buy some armor. But, yeah, I mean, the problem is, is that all of this is going to be pretty ho-hum. Um, chain mail would be nice. Can we afford chain mail? Can't really afford anything right now. We're very, very poor. But I'm going to go out of my way to buy chainmail. <sighs> really, though? For 3 AV? I don't know. Nah. We're just going to we're just going to power along as we have been. Uh, I would like to make a quick look around. Looks like we've got I think that's a tinkerer. Or is that a glove merchant? Probably a glove merchant. Lover. Yeah, okay. We've got painted boar skins. And we've got engraved boar skins. And then we have just basic boar skins. Let's buy those at the very least. Sometimes it's, you know, it takes a long time to get yourself some boar skins. I'd rather get some now. Get that bonus AV. That is a beehive. Um, it'll probably, probably it's a, um, an apiary. 
Um, we've got... Oh, we've got a Dromad Caravan. This is generally always good. Re oh, really? Wait a minute, really? They're not an actual... Dro There's, it's not a Dromad Caravan. It's just a... Uh, Mechanimus Convert. Wow. That's a new one. I, I'm sure I've seen something like that before, but not often. Uh, we've got our... Oh yeah, these, uh, these puff tents have animations now. Let's see. Can we, uh, can we see the, the new animation for the, uh... Yeah! There it is! <laughs> Love that. Oh. So now you can have, you can take a, a puff from one of those. I forget what they're called. I can't remember what they're called. We got a gun shop. We could definitely have a look. This is going to be pistols. Uh, oh, we got a musket and a Nisakari rifle, but they're so expensive. It's so much easier and better to get get them, um, you know, when they're on sale. A AKA when we take one off the dead body of a Nisakari. I don't know. Is that a jeweler? Oh, that's that's actually really good. I love it when we have a jeweler at the six day stilt because it makes, um, like selling our goods so much easier. We also have an apothecarist. I'm definitely going to chat with them. I'd like to, um, oh, they've got some interesting tubes, but I'm more interested in their witchwood bark. I'm going to buy a couple of those. Uh, one more. Okay, um, so I'm just... I, I So far, I'm not seeing a schematic salesman, and that is a bit spooky. Please, I, I do not want to have a six-day stilt that doesn't have at least one schematic sales, sales, uh, salesman. I'm not seeing it so far. Oh, 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 that was it. E, a schematics drafter. Perfect. Okay, cool. We're set. That's the only thing I care about. In fact, I'm going to make a mark right here. Um, insert entry text skim drafter. Um, is that, where is that in? It's in miscellaneous. Okay. Now we might have one more, so we have a jeweler. Oh, is that another one? Yes. Okay, cool. We'll add another one here. Did he just do something? He seemed to do something else. I'm not sure. Skim drafter two. He's got some witchwood bark. Uh, was that a novice of the sightless way? Oh, it's actually not. That is a disciple of the sightless way and hired guard. I think this is a haberdasher. Always nice when I like try and um, call a thing out for what it is and like it is. You know, I like to I like to strut my um, my knowledge, at least of the tiles. So we've got ourselves a guts monger. Um, we are mut mutants, so we're not going to be able to make use of that, unfortunately. Oh, we have three scam drafters. Wow. That, uh, that changed dramatically. So let's go ahead and put one more here. Skim drafter three. And I know that he's probably the easiest one to find, but, um, it's just in the order that I found them in. Okay. Uh, we're famished. Let's go ahead and cook a meal. We'll go, we'll pick up the, um, the, the Petals on the Wind quest. Uh, I will go to Bela. I've been having some, like, pretty bad luck with, um, Bela, and I, uh, I don't like to hurt it at all, and I tend to be finding myself in a position where I'm hurting Bela. So it's, it's been kind of brutal and I, you know, I don't really want to, um, 
Like if it, if it's between like leaving the the petals on the wind quest unresolved and um, accidentally leading to the destruction of Bela, I think I'd prefer the uh, the former. Whoops. We've got a, another nice little ruin. Nothing too spicy. Shrine uh, to Durham, Durhamasp. The Aurelian Iron Gauntlet. Shrine to Durhamasp. The Aurelian Iron Gauntlet. Oh, we got a quest to find and to, to visit a new named location. Fantastic. Are we still lost? No, I guess we never were lost. We just uh, found a ruin. Cool. Um, let's go and talk to Argive. Give him a couple of daggers. There's one. There is another. We'll probably level up from this. And we did. And um, we look at that. We can get to Carapass. Triple jointed is actually really tempting. Yeah, let's take triple jointed. That's actually going to make up for quite a bit of... Um, Oh, but sleep cast generation is it also really good? This is tough. These are all really good. I really like Carapace. It's one of my favorite uh, mut mutations. Makes uh, going to like um, Bethesda Susa a lot easier. Also, reputation with Tordis is, is quite nice. Triple jointed is so good though. Okay, um, let's decide between Sleep Gas Generation and Carapace. I think I'd rather go with Carapace. We could really use the extra AV. And it kind of fits the bill a little bit more, I think. Level 9. The Wire, give it to me. Okay, so now we have to go to um, the Rust Wells. We absolutely have to go to the rest. Well, let's uh, drink some or have some uh, apple mats so that we thirst at half rate and we'll get going. Of course, we're lost. That's fine. So we have considerably more AV now. We've got three AV. Actually, is that more AV? Because I guess we had to we lost our our uh, body armor. We could, um, we've got plenty of mutation points. I could, I could throw them onto Carapace and then, um, yeah. And then reserve the, our next unstable genome or not unstable genome, but, uh, irritable genome or whatever it's called. Um, excited genome. I, I all of my genomes are getting confused here. Uh, reserve the next one for, um, multiple arms because multiple arms is just really, really good. Um, but yeah, let's throw some points on the Carapace. I won't be needing to take another mutation i already took one when i didn't really need to but that was because i wasn't getting any and i it's just bad bad idea to to skip your irritable genome or whatever it's called um when you don't have a, a you know a physical mutation it's just it's just bad form in my opinion we're still at negative three with agility so ranged combat is just not going to work for us for a while um, toughness might be a good idea. I'm thinking about what we can throw some points in. So I'm thinking, let's uh, go with our strengths. I'm going to throw down an attribute point on intelligence and strength for now. Um, I do have long blades. I kind of still want to go for axes. I love me some axes. And, you know, when you have multiple arms, it axes are a lot of fun. They're not the best. The best is, of course, Cudgel. Because Cudgel offer opportunities for, like... That was really nasty. Um, opportunities to, like, stun lock someone. Wow, this guy's really taking me out. Can we do a slam? Knocked prone. I'm going to do a precognition start here. Okay, that was that was really nasty. Um, return to the start of your vision. No. Uh, 
It's not lost on me that we are running out of water. Definitely, I could use some more water. What do we got going on here? Snapjaw corpse. Two-handed two -handed iron longsword. Well, we could do that. We could take that. Um, that would actually offer us a bit more damage, I think. We've been using a lit torch this whole time? When did that happen? When in the world did that happen? Oh, I see. We Okay, so we can still use Ticat. And in our other fist, we're going to throw a torch. So I've been, like, using a really, like, just not a weapon for a long time. Maybe? I think? Lacquered weird artifact. Oh, and we also haven't been using our, our boar skin gloves. My bad. Yeah, we didn't really gain all that much AV because we, we had leather armor, which is fairly good AV in the beginning. Lacquered stun rod um, with a chem cell. That's not a bad find at all. Okay, this is not good. I'm going to try and slam shield slam uh, the warrior. Okay, that was that was okay. We're getting we're taking quite a lot of damage from snap jaws. It's not great. We got a there's a two-handed bronze sword, a witchwood wreath. Nothing else really. Nothing nothing too exciting. I'm probably gonna end the episode as soon as I get to Rust Wells, but uh, this is this is turning into a journey now. Club Vine Wafer Sheaf. Or, I guess, just Vine Wafer. Worst thing you can do um, when you're fighting um, Snap Jaws is allow them to surround you. It's the only way they can actually do some nasty damage. What do we got there? Two-handed bronze sword. These uh, Snap Jaws are really liking their two-handed swords. Oh, look at that. We found some boar skin gloves. Now, I'm not upset about buying them because now we actually have a second set of hands that could actually use those. And we get we see the benefits of that AV immediately. Fried processing core, huh? I wonder if the snap jaws would like worship something like that. I don't think they worship anything. Do you think the snap jaws have a god? I wonder if that's a, uh, you know, I I would love to see like an update that is just like snapjaw related like yeah um we added a snapjaw god kind of like a borokoru and um you can like if you make friends with them you'll find you'll you'll learn of the the layer of the snapjaw and maybe the snapjaw is like part crocodile you know it's just, or even like um a part snapping turtle that makes sense to me so it's like the uh, the snapping jaw god known as a you know something like that. <laughs> Angry dog sounds. All right, so we are level nine now. It's a very very late to be going to. Um, the rust wells but I, i've been kind of struggling in a, in a few ways and uh, like honestly i'm still not great we are using the aggressive stance i guess i could be using a defensive stance but like the aggressive stance offers more penetration what was that oh the uh, vine spitters have a new animation check that out look at that oh that's really cool Loving, loving these new animations. Every time I find one, it's like a little treat. You can have animations, you know, as a treat. I don't really know what to call them. I think, I, like, I know I'm calling them animations and they're not really animations, but I mean, what else are they really? OK, 
Okay, we're almost... Oh, there's our, there's our 50 inch. There's some more wire. Do, uh, I do miss... Like, I don't know what mod I had. I had a few mods that I really liked, but one of them was like, just auto pick up the wire. Which is, is a really nice one. I don't know why, given that we have a quest, why our character does not prioritize picking up the wire, like at all. Astonishing to me, but um, the kudzu is still worth 10 XP, so they're not completely worthless in terms of uh, design. I, just, I said I was going to end the episode when I got to Rust Balls. This is what happens when I play Caves of Cud, is I just like completely lose track of time. And I just want to jump into the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. So uh, what I'm going to say now is I'm going to get to the bottom and um, then we'll, uh, you know, maybe we'll grab our wire, complete the quest. It shouldn't take too long. And then we'll end the episode. There's our stairs. We do know we've got some kind of crab waiting and there's a we got a lover's blossom that's why i always even even in the late game try and grab or try uh, you know kill uh, lovers are we on bad terms with the skunk no i guess they were just fighting something like really close to us um i always try and and fight a um a blossom whatever they're called jilted lover getting that lover's blossom is just such a good get so good and it's always relevant. It's always like, it doesn't matter how late in the game you are. I suppose if you're like so late in the game that you've already made friends with everyone that you care about, then yeah, maybe Lover's Blossom is not as relevant. Maybe you don't care as much, but like, come on. I think, uh, I think you're being, you, you'd, you would be a, an elitist a little bit or a purist even to suggest that Lover's Blossom isn't always relevant. Okay, so I, I know I saw another crab, and you did see just now how not good I am. Like, I'm still not very super equipped to be fighting. And I think it, like, for personally, I think it's partly that I don't, I don't know how to make the best out of long blades. I guess uh, we didn't, we haven't really bought any skills. There is that. I should uh, consider that. So we could look at long blades and then, you know, we could take like swipe. Um, in aggressive stance, make an attack against all adjacent opponents. In defensive stance, push, push all adjacent creatures back one space and attempt to trip opponents. Dueling stance. But we don't have dueling stance yet. We do have an intel intelligence strength build, but we don't have agility. That's one thing, one reason why we can't take this. Gain access to dueling stance while wielding a long blade in your primary hand. You get plus two to hit with long blades and short blades. Um, and I guess what we really care about is whatever allows us to try and disarm. Is it improved dueling stance? Is it on guard? Is it lunge? Attack at plus two penetration. You must move through the, the empty space. Uh, dueling stance. Attack an opponent at plus one penetration. The attack is guaranteed to hit and penetrate at least once. What is it that lets us try and uh, disarm our opponent? Gain plus two DV. Push on. Uh, attempt to trip opponents. Attack an opponent. Attempt to disarm them. Okay. Dueling stance. Attack an opponent. Um... Okay, so swipe is what we want, and we want dueling stance. So if I was to do that, then if I was to take swipe and dueling stance, then we would have the ability to potentially disarm. Let's go for it. I haven't done a dueling, like I haven't done long blades basically at all. And I'm going to just go ahead and click. Um, we're just going to take dueling stance, and I'm going to maintain dueling stance basically forever. Because I think it's just superior. While wielding a long blade in your primary hand, you get plus two to hit with the long blades and short blades. It's it's nice. It's quite good. Um, and then swipe is going to allow us to try and disarm our opponent. Um, where is that? Where's swipe? Please don't tell me it's on the next menu. Oh god, it is. 
I wonder if there's an option to like take certain things off the first menu because we don't need mark target tab sort custom by class uh oh i see you move up or move down so if we move mark target to the bottom we should yes there we go perfect that's actually really slick i didn't i this is the first time i've i've played with that and it worked perfectly um let's go ahead and move swipe up i'm gonna move make camp to the top and um there we go so swipe is going to be three i th there's been a lot of work put into that menu and i really do appreciate it it's stuff like that that really just you know makes makes life so much easier when you're playing your favorite game you know <laughs> um okay av is six right now we're fighting a rustation rust sorry we're not we're fighting a rust encrusted claw you are dazed. Oh no, they are potentially stunning us. We do have some witchwood bark. Would be a good idea to take some. We could try a swipe. That worked. Oh god. I, I, this is, this is what makes the rust wells, uh, a real pain in the butt. Um, hate all of this actually. Okay. This, this is all bad. It's all bad. Okay. Is that, was that the crab I was seeing? I guess so. Ooh, that looks like a uh, folded carbide dagger. We got our, we got our copper wire. There's some more here. And what is that? Folded carbide dagger. Love, love getting it right. All right, let's leave. Let's get back to Jopa. And um, that's another quest completed. And we already have the uh, recoiler for Gritgate. Um, so that's that done. So I think something we could do, um, I should probably try and make the journey to Gritgate anyway. The reason being is the last thing you'd want to do is recoil to Gritgate and then find out that the journey to Gritgate is actually like impossible at my current stage. So, um, it would still be a good idea, sensible even, to, um, make the journey anyway, despite the fact that we have a recoiler. Um, which, you know, it, it shucks, sucks a bit, but, um, I just think that I, I don't want to, like, soft lock myself. I suppose it wouldn't be a soft lock, because, you know, we could always, like, break through the wall, um, at the base of Great Gate, and then, like, find an alternative exit, so it wouldn't be the worst thing. I suppose now that I've, t I've, t I've talked myself out of it, okay. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll fight that Jilted Lover, and then we're gonna go and, uh, Go back to Jopa, go back to Argive, and we'll we'll figure out um, what we want to do in the next episode for Grit Gate. Take the wire. Here you go. Can I know what it is first for the Barathermites? All right. Well, you know what? I, I, I've I've actually completely changed my mind on this. We're just going to do this now, and I want to see the animation for Recoilers now. Yeah, they have been updated. Ooh. Uh, the uh, the entry though isn't isn't as cool. So they've changed it so that you don't get a entry animation, um, but you do get an exit animation. So it's kind of actually completely opposite of what we had before. All right. Well, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.